Managing the COVID-19 service delivery landscape, video shorts. What does a stay-at-home order mean? What do we know? What questions do we still have? What resources are available if viewers want to stay up to date? Hey there, it's Jeff. I'm an advocate with the Ark of Aurora. Today I'm here to talk to you about the stay-at-home order. Uh, so first off, the stay-at-home order was issued by our governor, Jared Polis, and it's technically in effect till 11.59 p.m. on April 26th. However, you want to keep up to date on this because that date could change. Once again, that date could change, but as of right now, it's 11.59 p.m. on April 26th. So what does a stay-at-home order really mean? And are there loopholes? How can I get around this? There are no loopholes. We do not want you to get around this. Don't make exceptions. This is for the greater good of Coloradans. Um, so really, you're only supposed to leave your home for necessary activities. Uh, if you're not sure what a necessary activity is, uh, ask your host home provider, ask um, your advocate, reach out to somebody that you feel confident would have some expertise in this area. You can also go to the state of Colorado's website. But so what are the necessary activities? It could be going to get medical supplies, going to a doctor's appointment, uh, it could be exercising, it could be walking the dogs, it could be feeding barnyard animals. That was supposed to be throwing out chicken feed, I guess. Uh, it could be going to work if your job is considered um, basically critical. Um, so what is a critical job? It could be someone working at a grocery store, it could be a hospital worker, um, healthcare, water sanitation, utilities, pretty much you'll know if your job is critical because if it's critical, you'll still be working right now. Um, and yes, you're allowed to use the bus, but we want you to use social distancing as much as possible. And if you have to use your own car, you know, use your car, but when you get out of your car, practice social distancing. Um, let's see. There's no public or there's no public or private gatherings um in or outside of your house so it's not appropriate to have people over right now um there's a lot of other little questions i have like how long is this going to really last um is it going to just go back to normal probably not it's probably going to go back in slow steps so what you really want to do is just stay up to date and Make sure you're getting your news from a credible source. I would just say the state of Colorado website is going to be the most credible source. Uh, and that's just colorado.gov. And you can click on COVID-19 and it gives you all the specifics that you would need to know. And remember, every state's different. So if you have a friend in Alabama and they're saying that they don't have to stay in anymore, that's just Alabama. We're in Colorado and we have to follow the rules that our governor has put out there for us. And really it's all about being safe and keeping other people safe. If you have any questions and you have an advocate, feel, feel free to reach out to your advocate. And I want you to be safe and just think about, we're gonna get through this. And I know it's not fun, but we're doing it for the good of everybody. All right, this has been Jeff with the Ark of Aurora. Have a good one. Stay tuned for more information on how the COVID crisis may impact service delivery or reach out to your Arc of Aurora advocate at 720-213-1420. We are here to help.